Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and today I'm going to be doing a review for Jibo and Jerbo vs Life on PC. Now this game was developed and published by Stegtech who were kind enough to give me a copy for this video so big thank you to them for that. And it was released onto Steam on the 1st of October 2021. Now this is described as a bizarre, episodic, metroidvania slash party based JRPG uh, that features a strange land and its inhabitants. So, <laughs> chapter one is available right now, which is what I was basically playing. <laughs> and it's such a weird little game. I, I quite enjoyed this. So, um, you basically play in as uh, you start off the game as Jibo, and you work at a sort of like a big company, um, and you basically tell your boss you want to leave, you've had enough, you want to raise, and he's like, "Nah, you're not getting one." So you're like, "I quit," and then he pulls out a samurai sword and starts chasing you, trying to kill you, and that's basically how this game starts. Uh, <laughs> and you're running away uh, in like a platforming section, jumping over. Um, sort of jumps and there's uh, sort of like saws and stuff that can kill you and then while you're doing this you're also having sort of turn-based jrpg-esque battles very very reminiscent of a sort of like a pokemon battle uh, or something from like final fantasy <laughs> very tongue-in-cheek very funny and uh, <laughs> i wasn't expecting it. like i said i went into this without really reading it up in the game i just wanted to play it and see what it was like so the <laughs> the moment you start like killing employees randomly in these like <laughs> turn-based battles it was really really fun now um it's is a hard game uh, it is pretty difficult now um as you get on like i said the first section of the game is basically what you're seeing on screen now which is basically trying to escape the uh the building before your boss basically murders you with a giant samurai sword because you're not able to basically beat him in combat um but i found it quite difficult to begin with because it does only have keyboard controls and using the like up down left and right to do the sort of jumping sections it just fell off for me now once you get used to it like i say you've got sort of like crouch under things and like wall jump uh, and i just found it a little tricky with the key using the keyboard and mouse i have read uh the developer says they are looking at maybe adding some controller support in so I would definitely love to try playing this section again to see if it is any easier with a controller. But like I say, for those that play on PC a lot more often than I do, you will probably not have any problem with it. You'll probably find it really easy. Now there are lots of checkpoints and uh, you basically just have to start over in certain areas if you struggle. Um, but it's really hard to describe this game it's really weird later on like i say you do get uh, extra people in your party so it's not just you don't you start out with just the one character but you do end up getting more you end up in all sorts of weird different uh, areas fighting uh, different enemies talking to different species and like I say, it, it, there's like space dinosaur robot lawyers really funny uh, <laughs> that's why i highly recommend checking it out um, the game itself is priced at £3.99, so it's not bad at all for that price, like I say. Um, it does offer Steam achievements, and it does say on Steam that it does support um, full controller support, so maybe that's been added and I've just totally missed it. So um, apologies if that is the case, but I did just play it with um, the up, down, left, right, and the... Uh, controls list on the screen didn't mention anything about a controller that i noticed so uh, you may be able to get that uh sort of controller support now that's what it does say on steam anyway the game itself you'll probably get through it in a couple of hours it isn't a, a, like the longest of games but it depends if you know what you're doing like i say you could probably speed run it in uh, an hour or two um but Obviously, when you first try, I ended up just getting wrecked over and over again in the first section. Like, I, I, I'm ashamed to say how long it took me to get through this first section just because of the controls and stuff uh, and not being used to it. But once you get out of this area, there's loads of different places. It's not just the inside of, a, uh, of like, the office building. You end up sort of, like, uh, in all sorts of different environments. There's, like, sort of foresty environments and stuff. 
And I love the features that they list on Steam. So the devs obviously have got a sense of humor because it's like features, work, a mundane office job, experience, depression, quit your mundane office job, experience, depression, kill your photo of a co-workers. I'm sure a lot of us would want to do that, really. Um, find meaning in your life. Fight a squirrel. Die a painful death. Uh, climb a tree. Crawl through the ventilation system of a hospital. Eat some baked goods that you found in the forest. Find some baby birds, hire a lawyer, and make other questionable decisions. Honestly, it's really, really stupid. Uh, it's very sort of funny, um, and it does get better as you get in. You just got to get through um, the first section. I feel like that was one of the harder sections, um, just getting used to the controls and stuff. But once you get out of there, the game really sort of picks up as well. So uh, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, the graphics themselves may put people off. They are quite basic, um, like low budget -y sort of um, backgrounds and stuff, but it kind of works. It's just the style of the game, and I, I, I know how hard it is as an indie dev to, um, to get your vision across, and if you're doing it all yourself and stuff, then sometimes this is how games come out and you should never judge a game on how it looks like i say the gameplay itself is really fun it's challenging but also really enjoyable um like i say once you get through the difficultiness of some of the areas the humor and stuff like that proper shines through so definitely check this one out but like i say it is available right now um very unique little game really enjoyed it looking forward to seeing more um so Make sure you check that out. And there's also a soundtrack. If you want to just guess, get the soundtrack, you can buy that as well on Steam for £3.99 pence as well. But that's that for this video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know if you've tried this game out before. Did you find it as hard as I did uh, when I first started? Or uh, are you just more pro at PC gaming with the keyboard than I am? <laughs> Let me know in the comments anyway. Hit the like button, hit subscribe, and we'll see you soon for more content. Bye for now.